Hi everybody, it's Cory at The Reset Girl. We are going to do a, um, a walkthrough of how I decorate my Midori inserts and I'm actually going to do it while I'm talking so that you can see my um, kind of process that I go through. Um, I'm a person that appreciates understanding somebody's process because then I understand how to do it myself. You know, when I'm at home having to do it, I'll understand how that person got there. So I'm going to show that to you um, and I'm going to first review. These are the um, the decorated inserts that I had from my Midori 101 video. So they were going in, in this little guy here and um, I had also made this for my Kate Spade agenda. It, she This gets tucked into a little pocket and it's just kind of like a little place to download my um, thoughts if I just wanted to grab it really quickly. But I wanted to kind of show you first before I decorate um, kind of some of the little elements or things that I do um, that are sort of my style. Um, first I have kind of a habit. I love using two different types of scrap of paper. That's probably my most common um, decorating like here's some older ones. There's this one and there's this. The majority of, obviously I really love this paper, um, the majority of of inserts that I've decorated, all most of them have this, but I have done it probably one or two times. I think those two are like this. And I'm not as huge a fan of it. It's not as fun to me. So um, I tend to like things that are contrasty and not matchy-matchy. So obviously you you can do whatever you like um, but my my tendency is to kind of I like going this way where they're um, different and there's also another reason for doing that and that has to do with how the Midori the books are uh, laid out inside of it once you get them in there so here I went with the one paper and the one paper and you know I don't know these are okay these didn't bother me too much, but I just, I don't like it nearly as much as I, I like this. Um, so some of the little things that I do is I like using washi, and I'll either put washi on the edges of the page, like that, and then just kind of snip it off at the top. Um, I did that here and here, but my thing that I love is putting washi, especially when you use two different papers, is putting washi down the center. And there's actually like three strips of washi. That's not just one piece. And then one um, little trick that I did with this little guy, and I'm going to do that uh, decorating today, is using packing tape on there to make the binding really super, um, super strong and keep it nice and smooth. And then all of these little guys, um, I had some spare glass glasses paper and they all got little coordinating um, elements that made them all more cohesive. But I, um, I'm going to be doing these guys and I'm going to be doing them for a very special um, theme. Um, these are actually going to be inserts that I'm going to include in a giveaway that I'm about to do. So you guys will actually get to see me decorate and when you see it on Instagram you'll know how they got there. So I have three inserts here from Yellow Paper House um, and I also have this Midori insert here um, that's the craft paper um, insert and so I'm not quite sure if I'm doing I'm probably going to do these three and then I'm going to make a, a, a craft folder and so I'm going to go ahead and undo these. And these are um, different. I forget the, the collection name. I want to say it was like sea glass or something like that. But it's a collection of like these blues and greens. It's really pretty. They all have the, the dot grid because I like the dot grid. And then this one is the monthly calendar insert, which will be very handy. I'm sure some of you will be really excited that they want an insert they can treat the whole Midori like a planner and then there's another one there. So we've got three of them 
And this is the Foxy Dory that they are going into. I got another one of those, the teal, teal ones. So it just, it's so pretty. It's such a stunning blue color. So these guys are going to go into here and I want to go ahead and show you. I picked some paper and I know it doesn't really make a lot of sense the way it is right now, but I have, I have a, a reason. So some of the other items in the giveaway are kind of this like little eclectic mix of um, red and black and gold. And I loved it because I felt like the Midori just popped. Isn't that beautiful? I just think it's beautiful. So I wanted it to just kind of like be the little jewel in the center of everything. So that was, this is kind of my inspiration of where I was trying to draw from. So with that in mind, now that will make a bit more sense why I chose these kind of colors. Actually, I'm going to leave these out to the side so you can see. So I'm, I might use one of the glasses. I know not everyone is into glasses like I am, but I, I think they're cute. I, they're very trendy. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people who'd be really stoked to see them. So oop, we have an extra piece of paper in there. So here were some of the, the um, patterns I was actually considering um, including in this collection. So what I love about this is that there's a little something about everything I have in here, like that kind of picks up really well. This mirrors this whole little group in here. Um, the Midori itself looks really awesome with these colors here, very candy colored. And then we have this, oops which looks great with this side too. So it all kind of pulls together um, in one way or another. And again, I'm not a matchy-matchy person. I like things to kind of contrast and be a little different. So it's just a matter of figuring out like how to pair these guys up because what we're gonna do is we're gonna pair them like this. So we're gonna do one pattern you know, here and one pattern over here. So this is gonna be um, my muse, how I'm going to match them. So this is not a super, um, okay, so let's just, I'll just start with one. And actually, okay, so I'm going to start with one and I, I think What I normally do is I'll start with one that's got the bold, bright pattern on it. Like these two would be probably more like a cover. Let me see how I want to do this. This is my favorite paper of all time. So I am, I am donating it to the, the giveaway because it's so beautiful. I love it. So what I do, and this is not very scientific at all, let me see if I can get one of these pencils to work. Oop, a little too much there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, this is all I do, is I just go ahead and measure where I can cut the book. I'm sorry, cut the cover. And I'm actually not cutting it to the very edge because the washi is gonna go there, so. It's okay that it's not. I'm going to end up trimming it on the edge. I'm going to set that aside for one second. So how I normally do this is I don't line the paper up to this edge. I actually line it up here first kind of figure out where I want it to lie. And I let a little bit of this edge peak not get completely covered because I'm gonna use the um, the washi on that, that seam, the, the very binding of it. And I'm gonna use the most fabulous glue stick ever. This is just a regular Elmer's glue stick, but it's, I can't figure out how to turn it, there we go. A corner glue stick. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go ahead. What makes this glue stick so awesome is the fact that it's like a triangle and it's got the little corner so you can get it right up into the edges, which I love. I love glue stick. So this is all I'm doing is getting a nice coating of glue stick on it. The other fabulous thing about glue stick is that it's very forgiving. You can pick it up and move it if you didn't place it right the first time. So I'm getting it right up against there without coming, if you see that, to the side, how it's got a little bit of edge showing. And I'm going to, see, I didn't get it all the way to the corner as well as I could have. I probably wouldn't have be I wouldn't be so persnickety, but you can see this is not a perfect process by any means. This might take, you know, several times to get it just right. Alright, that's better. I probably wouldn't be so picky if it wasn't gonna be somebody's gift. <laughs> I don't want them to be like, hey, the edges aren't smooth here. Okay, and then all I'm doing now is I'm just trimming it as carefully as I can. And then, um, just because I can see the, pa the paper was lifting a little bit, I'm going to give it a little bit more glue there on the edges. Because that's where it's going to get the most wear and tear is on the edge of the book because you're, you know, you're constantly pick pulling the book like that. So, so that's one side of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick the other side. And because I went with this, this pattern on the front, I probably want to marry it. Hmm. I kind of like the idea of using this one on the calendar insert. I know I want color, so maybe I will do this one. Let's see, throw it that way. Hmm. Ooh, I like it that way. There's way more color going that direction. Okay, so now that I've kind of figured out, now, this paper on this side's a little bit harder to see, so I'm probably gonna do it on this side, measure it, so I can actually see the lines I'm drawing. And I can also line up where I want the color in the pattern to be on the book. So there's my the other side of the insert. I'm going to try doing the book this time and see if that makes it easier. Okay. This time I'm going to match it up this way to the corners. There we go. And I'm going to trim it because I made it a little wide here. I'm going to trim it along the spine, which will be fine because I'm going to cover all of that up with washi anyway. So you won't see how crooked I just cut it. <laughs> and then I'm going to 
smooth it down. All right, so let me, this is where I always, I get trim, 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 trim. I love decorating inserts, I really do. This is probably like my most favorite part of any of the planning decorating I've done. It's I've always enjoyed making the Midori inserts the most. I've actually considered making these and selling them just because I love doing them so much and I want to do stuff that I love. Okay, so now I have those on there and I'm going to bend it back here on the spine like so. And then this is where I'm going to look for just the right washi. So, let's see here. I'm looking, looking, looking in my stash. One of my favorite washi is this. I have a lot going on here. Let me see here. So I have this kind, and I also have this one too. That would be fun, wouldn't it? The only thing is, though, is that the words aren't going to... Yeah, it's not going to stand out against the... Um, against that side. I am a fan of this. Hmm. I'm curious. Ah! Did you see that? Oh. <laughs> I thought that it ripped. It didn't rip. This is actually a piece that I had cut too much of last time. That was funny. I was like, hey! It ripped. Um... Ooh, I like that. I like um, mismatching things and kind of crazy patterns. Ooh, I really like that. And that will look good with the um, the Midori. See how it... So I'm going to put that in there once I find the edge of it. And the great thing about... I'm having terrible washi luck tonight. Okay. I don't know how you guys feel about the Scotch brand washi. I kind of feel like it's not true washi. It's pretty, I don't know, it has a, it's kind of strange. It's not, it's not truly washy in my opinion. Um, it has, it's, the feeling of it is way too slick and plasticky. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do two coats of that. Ooh, I like that. Okay. And then I'm going to trim it, which is another little process because you want to get it down to the edge so it's all smoothy smooth. Okay. So there I have one insert. I like that. Okay. So I mentioned before that I use packing tape and I was not kidding. I literally use packing tape, the kind that you move with. And I'm going to cut a piece off. And what I have learned um, from doing this is it's it works brilliantly because it totally reinforces this tape and it helps it stay nice and um, strong, which I love. It protects the spine, which is going to get a lot of use, a lot of wear and tear. And then I'm going to go ahead and just trimmy trim that. Okay, so there's one down. Reinforced that. And I like how the blues and greens in here really are picked up in the colors back here too. So there's one down. That went pretty fast, right? And now let's do the calendar insert. 
So the calendar insert is not going to be a long-term insert. You're going to have it for a month and then you know, you're going to have to make a decision what you're going to do with it. And more than likely you're going to take it out because it kind of has a, a shorter shelf life. So I think on this one I'm going to put the pattern on the front. So I can either do can do those two together. That would be cute. I'm kind of torn because I know that this is the insert that's probably going to hang be here longer and this one's going to go faster. So I probably wouldn't want to put my most favoritist paper on there. And I really like this. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. All right. I'm, I'm making an executive decision here. I'm going with this one. And I'm, hmm, which one do I like the most? I, oops. My washi. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right here on this little group right here. So I'm going to get my pencil. And I don't do, um, when I when I do this, sometimes I don't really do things the same way each time. I might try it different each time. I don't know. Until the day that I create a process that's so flawless, I just keep repeating it over and over again. Okay, and then, see, I'm doing this one all different. This time I'm using that, so I'm just going to... This is such cute paper. I feel like I've been hoarding this for a really long time. I could be wrong, but I feel like I've had this paper in my arsenal for a while. It's a basic gray paper. I think they have some of the best paper. I'm in Gosmer Blue. We have a Paisley Press line that I just love. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. Sometimes, honestly, what I think is easier is just um, gluing it so that it's just glued down like this and then just trimming around it. Sometimes that's the best way to do it. And I think that is what I'm going to do. So. Last time, I cut it um, around the edges. I tried to make it all conformed, and this time I'm going to do it a little differently. This time I'm just, I just cut a rectangle that's going to fit over this, and then I'm going to trim it to fit. I hope that made sense now that I just think about what I just said. Okay. The point is, is we all do things differently. We all create a process that makes sense to us, so certainly I don't claim to have the best way of making a Midori cover, but because um, I like experimenting until I find just the perfect thing that works. And you never know what's going to work perfectly unless you try different methods. Okay, so I just need to make sure that it's even. And it is. And I got that one on there. Let's smooth it all out. And then see how we have all this edge around. So now I'm going to trim it. And this is what I meant by trimming it to fit. So I'm literally trimming every edge, including this curve here, which I didn't do last time. I created the curve first. I kind of think this is probably the easiest way to do it is just fitting, just cutting out one um, rectangle, gluing it down, and then trimming it. That is my official statement. Okay, so there's that one. And I think I already see the washi that I love, so hopefully that's going to work out. Okay, so what did I say was going to be the back? 
Um, let's see here. Probably something in the black and white family. I like that one too. That is super cute. Either that one or this one. This one looks kind of circusy to me. Okay. Actually, now I'm waffling. I think I'm going to do this one. Okay. This paper um, way easier because it's just a it's a solid print pattern. So there's nothing to like line up, match up, make sure it it's perfect. So I could literally just. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was almost a catastrophe. Did you see that? I actually have two pieces of paper here. They weren't. I, I almost cut two pieces. That would have been a crafting disaster. It would be a waste of paper. Okay. So, hmm. Man, I'm just getting attacked by washi left and right. I need it. I need to get this washi under control. Okay, so this time I'm just... Boop, boop. So see how, like here, you could just kind of like trace around the edges and all that? You can do that method. That's fine. I'm going to just kind of skip that because I, I kind of felt like the freeform way worked better. See, we're all learning together. I'm learning what does and doesn't work. I thought that was better attaching it first and trimming it, so. Okay, so now I'm gonna I don't remember where I bought this awesome glue stick, so hopefully it won't be hard to replace it when I go through it because I'm going through it pretty darn fast. This was like my go-to glue stick over Christmas when I was crafting up a storm. Okay, so just kind of laying it down. It's not so cute. Some of you might be looking at that going, oh my gosh, what is she thinking? And that's okay. <laughs> we don't all have the same taste. I get it. I just think that looks fun. It kind of reminds me of like the carnival, you know, like clown pants. So all right, so we're going to trimmy trim trim. Um, basically what I want you to do is just pay attention to the the process of actually putting the paper down, gluing it, washi, the whole nine yards. You can pick any kind of paper you want. You have your own taste, your own style. You you may not like things that are contrasty. You might be the girl who loves to match everything. So that is completely fine. This is just I'm showing you the basics, you know, of how to how to create an insert that's going to last you. These um, this style of what I've done here, I am so happy with that um, little step. It makes it really nice. It just uh, washi is not here I'm going to give you an example I'm just going to show you so here was one of the most earliest ones I ever did and as you can see like the washi just splits along the back and it lifts you know it's it's not perfect I love the way these look but you know they get worn so when you put the tape down on that on that seam you're ensuring its lifespan to be very long so we're going to do that here, and let's see here. What am I missing? Do I need, is that the one? I like trying out different things to see what's going to like pop, what's going to stand out on that print, um, because everything is different. I like this but I don't think it's going to look good on this one because I think it's transparent if I remember correctly. Um, kind of indifferent to that one. I do like this one. That's a contender. 
Um, this is the Smash Book tape, and I love this one. In fact, I bought like, I think like three extra rolls of it. See, I like that, but it's not going to stand out against all that craziness. So I gotta find something else. So let's try. Oops! Oh, that was almost a. It almost flew off the table, back where I wouldn't be able to get it. Okay, that's too much black. No. No, I have been dying to use this little gold washi, but it just I haven't found just the right place for it yet. Hmm. No? I don't know, I think my contender's looking better and better. And then there's that one, which I think that one's awesome. It's more awesome on the front than on the back, to be honest. But maybe that is just how it's going to have to be. Because it is really cute on the front, isn't it? Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and layer it on, and I'm kind of um, making sure that they kind of cover each other. That one kind of covers over the top, and I'm going to snip it like so. Oh, you know what? It's actually easier to cut this way. You can cut right to the edge when you cut upside down. That washi doesn't want to come off my scissors. Okay. Let me see. Let me assess. See how it's kind of like lifting up here? That's why you want to put that packing tape down. You're going to teach it a lesson. Try and lift up on you. I think that's super cute. I'm okay with that. Yep. All right. That is what's going to happen. Okay. So where did I set the tape down? I'm going to measure a piece out. Cutting it, and then I'm going to go and lay it down. I swear, this is like the third video I've made where there's a police siren in the background. I'm sure you guys can hear that. Actually, what it is, is there's actually a fire station right by my house. And that is actually what it is. Okay. Ha ha. Now, it's a little um, stiff at first. See how the book wants to hold open? But when you press it and it gets into that Midori, it's going to behave itself and lay straight and flat. So now I've got two books. Like so. They look crazy now, but when I get them in here, they're going to be like, oh, amazing. Okay, so now we are doing the calendar. Okay, so here is where I wanted kind of that little pop of gold. So I'm thinking on this one. Hmm, is that crazy? So what it would be like is, that one would be the cover, kind of like that one. I'm going to go with this one. Whoever wins this, if they hate it, they only have to put up with it for a month. <laughs> I think it's fun, so it picks up the red and all those things. I've never decorated... Um, anything for a giveaway before so 
Um, I'm not sure if I'll do that again. I just thought for, well, to be honest with you, it's kind of killing two birds with one stone. I get to go ahead and do this video, which I wanted to do. And I have these inserts. And truthfully, I mean, you could literally just cover over what I did too. I have done that. I get covered over something I decorated before on a Midori cover, so this is not the end of the world or permanent by any means. Oh, that's cute, huh? That totally fits. But that's not the theme we're going for. That would look kind of weird without it, so. All right. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna this is the paper I wish I still had more of. This right here. That is why I bought like six sheets of that because I knew how much I loved it and I know that once once this paper is gone, it is gone. It is really hard to find paper that you love um, because it gets discontinued. It has a short life cycle and then it is gone. So if you love something, get it now. And I wish I had done that because I absolutely love that. If I had any more, it would definitely be in this group. Okay. So now I'm going to trim that up. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. I actually glued it to the back. <laughs> but blue is forgiving. But it makes it hard to lay the book down again because now it's all gluey. Okay. Here, I'm gonna lay the other one down on it so that I can cut it because it's really adhesive-y right now. It's sticky. Like it's supposed to. Okay. See, and look, yet a third way that I have on this all because I screwed up but you know what it is okay that I screwed up on camera because I screw up not on camera we all do it is it's really easy to make dumb mistakes to not be paying attention it happens all the time so I'm not even going to edit that out I'm going to let you see that I just screwed all that up I'm just going to keep it real tonight. It's Saturday night. I'm feeling crazy. Okay, so we've got that side. That's the back. This is the front. Okay. We are back on track now. I'm going to trim this. If this is completely boring to you, I will, you will not hurt my feelings if you were to fast forward to the end. Or I might share something else more important than this. Okay. There we go. There they are. Okay. So let me clear all my little scraps here and then try and find a washi that's going to be great with this guy. Let's see here. I just like this really because it's really wide. I don't know if that's the look I'm going for. Hmm. I'm on the fence. I'm not sure how I feel about this washi. So I'm gonna, oops, see, look what I'm doing. Okay, we're just gonna put that aside. Um, this is actually really cute, but it's so skinny, it'd probably take me six strands of it to get. That's cute, isn't it? What do you guys think? I think I'm going to go with that. And the nice thing about this is it kind of ties in um, all the elements that we're going for right now. Which is the pattern, the black and white. It even has a little bit of 
here and that way we can make it contrasting now. I use this washi a lot in my Kate um, spade decorating my little planner. It's a Heidi Swap, I believe, and I love it. Again, another washi I love so much I bought several rolls. Okay, this little guy definitely, definitely needs to be I need to fix this little seam because it, when I closed it, it laid down wrong. Okay, so that's that, and Woo. okay. Flip it over because it's always easier to cut when you have it um, pattern side down. You know, the cover side is down. That's when you can actually cut easily. Ooh, I just not want to. Okay. Oh, nice. I just got tape on my book. Okay. So there's my three. And now they need to have some kind of decoration. Okay, so I cleared everything away. I'm all ready to show you um, some ideas for embellishing your decorated covers, okay? So one of the things that I love to do is to use different products from the scrapbooking world to embellish my covers. And I wanted to show you a variety of different things to kind of give you ideas of how you can, you know, do some like out of the box type of decorating maybe. So I just have an assortment of things. I'm just going to go over them really quickly. Um, okay, so I have some stickers. This is the Chamel collection and um, really super cute. There's some gold foil in here. These are the type of stickers I love using because they're really special. The, um, the sticker stock is really thick. There's foiling in it. Um, so these kinds of stickers are ones that I would pick for a Midori insert because it was gonna you know, hang around for a while and I would see it pretty often. Um, these are kind of, uh, these are unique. These are embellishment packs that you'd use in scrapbooking. But there are so many beautiful, cute little pieces um, in them. I think this is the Maggie H. design. This is the open book collection, I think, on this one. So I always put them in my little, um, the bags that we package our stickers in for our orders. I use those to store my stuff in so I can quickly and easily see it. But um, this is a new Heidi Swap kit. And it, ooh, the pieces are kind of... They're vellum -y. So these type of things make really cute little extra somethings to put on your um, insert covers, you know? Like, oop, I always turn things the wrong direction. There you go. Really cute, and it's vellum. It's really, it has a special kind of feel to it. And then we have things like this where these are journal cards. Um, this is actually a brand new pack from Project Life. Um, they're the Perfectly Imperfect collection. It's a 40 pack of cards, which is perfect for girls who are not necessarily Project Lifers, but are more like planner girls. Um, you can, I, I'm gonna do some videos actually to show you how I decorate my Midori inserts on the inside. Um, and I love, love using journal cards to do that. But what's really fun about them is how you can use them ah, for embellishing. As an example, um, here's a, a pair of, of larger um, Midori inserts, but I do this with it. I'll just tape it down with some washi. Um, I'll use the scrapbooking um, embellishments like this. I added a little jewel. I added a strip of st stickers. This is actually like a, a border, um, but I used that along with the washi. 
So um, this was actually something I'd bought on Etsy like forever ago. And this these are images that came out of an old, old um, like sewing uh, catalog, like a one of those for patterns. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so this was like sewn onto scrapbook paper. These were cut out and added. I mean, it was really unique. I loved it. I actually damaged it by accident. I've had this. I've ho actually should say hoarded it. Um, but now I'm actually going to use it in one of my my dories. And then this one is one that I use for um, taking notes in church. And I put that on the back and washed it. So that's just something I love to do. And these type of cards make great little accent pieces for that reason. Um, here's another example. This is just a piece of scrapbook paper that I um, that I trimmed out that came from like this collection. And then I just added a little scrapbook sticker. Um, scrapbook paper, washi, a little um, scrapbook sticker from the Amy Tangerine collection. Those are just examples of, of ways you can do this. Um, I got these die cut butterflies, which I think are spectacular from scrapbook.com. They just came in today, so I was really excited about that. Um, but these would make something really cute. So look for embellishments when you go online. Um, you can look for die cuts, embellishment packs, oops, and these would be called like journal cards, scrapbook stickers. These are all awesome little accent pieces that you can use. So I went ahead and decorated them off camera because this video is getting really long. And I don't want to be known for the girl who always makes super long videos. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and assemble our Midori. And I did decorate these off camera. So in the interest of time, because you girls have already been watching this video long enough. So I'm just going to show you really quickly what I ended up doing. And so here's um, a little glitter sparkly styrofoam sticker. This is actually a clear journal card that I got from a, a Heidi Swap um, Project Life collection. And so I just washied it down. This is another Heidi Swap. It's from the Gold Foil Collection. It's like a chipboard sticker that has the foil on it. And then this was a journal card that I punched out with a circle punch and I added this little sticker to it. So here's the whole love thing going on. So I'm going to show you um, this last accessory and this is the business card holder which I went ahead and decorated using the patterned paper from this whole collection to kind of tie it all together. And so there's a couple of little crafted van bookmarks in here, um, a little credit card size sticker sheet, uh, the little freebies that we include in our orders, the unicorn page flags, some sticky notes, gold foil heart stickers, and then here's some empty places for the winner to place her little goodies when she gets her hands on it. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this really quick. And I think what I'm going to do... Hmm. I'm going to do it on the inside this time. I'm going to slide those in together. And I'm going to slide these in. here to the center. So there's three inserts and then the little folder with the little surprise goodies inside. I just absolutely love, love, love the Midori. I love like flipping through the little books and everything. It's just so super fun. So I hope the winner just absolutely loves this. I'm going to go ahead and seal it up and I added this little bit, bit of bling here to finish it off. So I thank you so much for watching this very long video. I promise it will not always be long like this. Um, I do have a bunch of other um, Midori inserts that need decorating and I have other Midoris as you've seen. So I will be doing additional videos um, in the same kind of process uh, decorating with different themes. Um, 
So I really hope that you subscribe and come back to watch. Um, and I thank you so, so much for following me on Instagram, for all of your beautiful, beautiful, wonderful comments that you leave me. I just love you guys to pieces. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.